All right. So uh, today I'm going to be setting up a uh, Hobbywing uh, 160 ESC on a Goblin 700, um, uh, running a 14S configuration. Uh, so this, this machine was actually originally a Goblin 770, uh, but I decided to, uh, to rebuild it uh, as a 700 and have some fun and picked up one of the new, uh, well not exactly new, but a new uh, Hobbywing ESC uh, for this. Now, uh, what's going to be fun about this is I haven't gone through and uh, read the instructions or uh, pre-prepared this or done everything, so I'm going to kind of figure it out as we go. The one thing I did do was I kind of went through the first, um, let's see here, the first steps of the instruction setting the, the throttle endpoint. Uh, so that should be working. Um, so I'm going to go do now is follow their instructions on using uh, the pro programming box. And see, uh, see how easy this is. So let's take a look. All right. Cable to connect. Plug is over there. So here is the programming box and the instructions. Show to connect it with the extra three pin cable. Okay. So let's see. We're going to go from here over to, let's see, is that here? It's in. Now I just need to find the extra three pin cable. As you probably notice, this isn't the neatest workbench ever. Oh, there we go. It was in the box, perfect. Okay. Let's see, signal here. There we go. Connect it to the ESC. I like how the, uh, the plus minus signal are clearly labeled. The case. Okay, so we got that. Uh, connect the LCD. Motors connected. Uh, we'll connect a battery. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Great. Okay. Press the OK button. Connecting TSC, please wait. There we go. Mode one. Okay. Uh, it's connected. Press the item button. Press value. So basically, it's like press the buttons to figure it out. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, 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 item button. Okay, let's look. Okay. Start with one, flight mode, uh, fixed wing, nope, heli, line, stored, go, I think that's the one we want, governor control, let's check the table, of course there is no table. So we pick the one we want, press OK, great. So now we'll go to the next item, lipo cells, we want this. I'm going to run 14 all the time, but I'm going to leave this as auto, great. Let's go down, uh, cutoff type, soft cutoff, yep, great. Cutoff voltage, 3 volts per cell, uh, it's a little low, but I'm just going to leave that for now. BEC voltage, I'm actually going to increase this. Looks like eight is the highest. I'm running um, uh, BK brushless servos and they can handle that. There we go, we're gonna set it to eight. Perfect. Startup time, 15 seconds. Uh, I'm actually, I like more like 10, 15 is long, so I'm gonna set this 10 seconds, okay? Governor parameter P. 
Oh, okay. So it's probably the P gain. Instructions are not in front of me, so I'm going to leave that. Great. I gain. Auto rotation time. I'm not going to touch that for now. Timing 15 degrees. I'm going to leave that. PWM frequency 30. This is a KDE motor. Um, I've read that the default timing should be okay with these, uh, but we'll see. Brake force zero. Great. Motor rotation. Actually, I did a quick test and it's the wrong way, so I'm going to change that. Let's see if that works. Restart. Okay, that's an auto rotation. Active free willing enabled. Yes, we want that. Start of power three, I think that's an auto rotation parameter. I'm gonna skip that, restore default. Great. Is that it? Because I didn't set the auto rotation parameters. That's okay, I'll come back to that. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Can't read. All the explanations were at the top. Um, section four, let me make sure I got this right. Flight mode, yeah, I, okay, let me just show you what I did. Flight mode, I set four, which is store governor. Uh, the motor will start up when the throttle reaches 40% or above. It'll start in a soft way. Um, and once it's fully started, it enters governor mode. Great. Okay, so we need to figure out. What throttle to set this to. And then I'll keep it at, from what I can read is, you would set a flat throttle curve at the percentage you want to hold it at. Let me see here. Oh, I'm just going to put this down and read. Okay. Right, so reading this basically, you set a flat curve to the percentage you want it to run at and it's gonna hold it there. Um, what you don't wanna do is start changing motors, batteries, etc. cetera. Um, okay, so as I was saying, you set a flat throttle curve. Actually, I'm gonna change something. Just for a test, I'm gonna change the flight mode uh, to linear. And so, heli linear. Uh, so what this will allow me to do is set a standard throttle curve and just with my radio test at the throttle response is okay. Uh, so we should be good there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. Radio's on. Hold mode. Throttle hold is on. Okay. So I'm going to put this down. I'm just going to show you. Okay, I'm going to plug this back in and do a test with the governor store. Okay, okay. Great, so we'll change this to governor store. Should be all set. Take this out. This again. Okay. Now I'm gonna use one of my flat throttle curves. Like this one, 66%, 80% do my normal flying, 66 is takeoff mode. And I'm gonna try this quickly. I probably won't let it go up full speed in this space. But so it is set on. Okay. 
Let's give this a go. It should take it off hold and it should start. Launch mode. There we go. Hold mode. And it did seem to work. I'm not going to let it spin up all the way, but um, it looked like a pretty successful test. Um, now I just got to get this installed, clean up the wiring. In case you didn't spot it, there was a we have a connector problem going on here with that. Pulled that a bit, but uh, that was uh, it was pretty darn easy. All right.